What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction. We got another big one. Shout out to the Patreon people for voting on this one. If you want to kind of get involved in the voting process and all the other bonus content and exclusive content as well, definitely check out that Patreon. But today, we're going to be watching The Raid. Now, um, I've seen uh, little bits here and there about this incredible film. Now, I love fighting films i love how fighting films are shot i love good fighting films and i love good film work around fighting so this is going to be a really interesting watch and i i heard this is one of the best this is like the top echelon of fighting films so i mean i'm excited to kind of dive into this but i want to just give a mighty thank you to all you guys out there i mean we recently just hit over 2,000 subscribers that's incredible like that is that's that's just nuts that's wild so i appreciate all of you and i hope that you guys are doing all right i know it's a little bit difficult out here it's not you know sunshine and rainbows for everybody but i just want to you know hopefully let you know that i'm rocking with you and hopefully at the bare minimum these videos can at least entertain you so with Without further ado, guys, like always, let's get right into the raid. All right, so already we're getting like a really cool montage of when I'm assuming this guy's regiment of exercise seems like he does this every morning. That was intense. <laughs> God damn, man. Jesus. <laughs> so you're telling me this dude's a cop? Arrest me. My goodness. Like, I don't I don't ever want to fight you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, word. That's cool. Whoa, look at this. Uh, look at this color right here. Dang. There was something super raw about it. Tugas kita sederhana. Kita masuk, tangkap dan seret dia keluar. Siap! All right, sounds like they're about to go in and literally do a raid. <laughs> I don't know. They need all this manpower. It must be something fierce. It's almost reminding me of like Saving Private Ryan or something. Doomsday. Kalau kalian tengah, kalian yang dibantainya. <laughs> that was a really cool cut right there. Just kind of introducing. Oh, I'm assuming is the antagonist of this plot. I recognize the homie to the left. Bruh. Now, why would you have a hammer in your desk? Whew. Yeah, but I mean, as of right now, you guys have a whole SWAT team. He has a hammer. Unless this dude's a superhero, I'm pretty sure you guys should be pretty good. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's cool. Dang. I like how that camera just started up top and is now, like, kind of tracking down towards the SWAT team. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> almost reminds me of, like, a comic book, almost. Or, like, a manga. Old Boy had a similar style and approach of storytelling with its, like, weird camera movements. Wow, that's crazy. Damn. <laughs> that was a cool shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting like really uh, cool comic book vibes from it, just from how that shot was. Come on! I'm really loving how the camera is just like kind of keeping pace with them. You know, like sometimes you can shoot things cinematically and other times you, you don't have to. You know, I think each form has its, you know, wins. That's the beauty about storytelling. You can tell the same story a billion different ways, just with the camera. Who? <laughs> oh my God. Jesus, man. Yo, who are the tenants of this place? What the heck? I take a black focus. It's almost as if they're like caught in a maze right now. Or like a spider web, man. They're just locked in on that. Nanda akan mendapatkan imbalan tinggal tanpa biaya. Hmm. 
I really love that camera angle. That was really cool. That was really cool. This dude, he's on, he's on, he's like a drug lord, really. Man, that's terrifying. Wow. I love how that camera just moved into the darkness like that. Oh, that is a lot of firepower. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow, look at how this is shot right here. Yo. Oh, my God. Where are all these guys, like, hocked up on drugs or something? Like, what? Yo, oh my God. I mean, that was really cool though, how the camera just kind of soared through the window. That was really cool. Effed up what happened, but damn. Man, this camera is so chaotic right now. My God, it's intense. I mean, it's very fitting for the scene. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that was dope. What the heck? Like the camera fell through the hole and it still followed them. That's that's really awesome. What the heck? Oh man, man, yo, this all went south so fast. Yo, my man is smart. Like, what the heck? What the heck? My man just made a makeshift, like, miniature bomb. Like, like, what the heck? So I wonder if this movie is going to literally be all in this, you know, this, this environment. Which is actually pretty cool, if it is. It almost, like, gives this obstacle or whatever that they're in this place this location a lot more life now it's like a maze as i said earlier yo what the f <laughs> yo wow yo i love how this is being shot right now like, the shots aren't tight. Like, it actually, you can see the flow of movement in this. Whoa. Did he just pop his knee out? Oh, my God. Yo, what the heck? My man just beat him to, like, a pound cake. Are you kidding me? Shout out to the stunt coordinators on this because, holy crap. Whew. Just go home. Today isn't your day. Just go home. Ah, oh, that was cool. That was cool. I like how that shot was. Hmm. That's pretty handy. Well, I guess you need one in a building like this. Yo. Yo. Guys, like the camera movements in this film is just like incredible. I'm over here spitting all over the place. But like that was that was so cool. Whoa! <laughs> was not expecting that. Why does that kid look like Usher? What the what the heck was that? <laughs> Yo, that was so dope. Oh my god. <laughs> he ran right into that. Again, like I'm able to see the movements so clearly. And the camera work is just it goes along with the flow and everything. With the intensity. It's just it's so good to look at.
That was so dope. Shout out to the choreographer, man. What the heck? I was not expecting to take a guy out like that. Yo, this whole scene, man. Bruh. What type of... What? That entire sequence. Siapa penyerbuan ini? Apa? Yang jelas bukan lu. Gak ada orang yang mengotorin tangannya untuk pekerjaan kotor mereka sendiri tuh gak ada. Hmm. He might think that there's something going on within the police. Uh, I think he might be right. This looks like a fight area. This looks like a fight area. Oh man, yeah, this guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. Yeah, bro. I don't know. You might get your butt whooped by this dude. God damn. It just feels like his punches and kicks, they just they just feel much more ferocious. Like damn. Bruh. Yo, man, this dude. Yo, the fighting in this is so raw, man. Like, it is crazy. Damn. Yo, that camera work is is something serious, man. Shout out to whoever is behind the camera. Shout out to the stunt coordinator. Shout out to the choreographer. My goodness, man. Oh my god, dude. What the hell type of move was that? <sighs> Damn. I really like that dude, too. That was nuts. That was absolutely nuts, man. What the heck? That dude is a problem. He is a freaking problem, man. Bentar lagi lo jadi om. Hmm. So they are brothers, yeah. I really do love how they transform this area, man. Like, I think it's it, like if there's anything you can take from this, it just goes to show you you don't have to go to the tallest mountaintop or you don't have to fly all over the place. Just make something that you can make a story around or at least base something around. And just manipulate the space. Because this 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 place is now the story. I think they did a really good job at making this uh, location fit well with the story. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? Bro, like, when they throw these, the, like, these bodies into the wall, like... What the freak? My man's just beating the crap out of these people with his, you know, with his weight alone. He reminds me of Wilson Fisk. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, man, just taking straight elbows to the jaw. Oh, that was cool. What the heck? That was so cool. Yo, the hands. Straight hands. Dude, what the heck, man? 
how like do I would have been so drained. I love how the fight scenes are shot, man. My God. This dude wants to fight both of them. Yo, bruh, like you're, you're crazy. <laughs> bruh, dude, no way. Yo, this is so dope. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, he's actually taking both of them on. This crack energy is like on something else. Jesus, man. Yo, those those knees to the face. Bruh. Are you kidding? This dude needs to die. Now, you know, there's just something about this fighting, man. Like it, it's like a combination of formality because they know how to fight. It's just so gritty, like it's unpredictable. And I think that just gets thrown into the mix and now it's just freaking chaos, but they know how to brawl. Bro, they've been going at it for like five straight minutes of just non-stop fighting. Woo! That was cool. Whoa. Shouts out to him for performing that stunt. Jesus. Wow. Oh, that is, that is, that's awesome. He's unstoppable, man. What the heck? Whoa! Yo, he's still fighting with that thing in his neck, and it's like the blood is leaking out. I don't know how y'all can walk. Y'all must be having some good vitamins, man, because every bone in your body should be broken. Everything. Drink your milk, guys. <laughs> it just shows like a <laughs> got milk. This whole tire thing was a got milk commercial. <laughs> that was an awesome fight. That was a really awesome fight. Damn. I'm exhausted looking at that. Reza dan teman-teman yang berdasi itu nggak pernah bilang nggak ke gua. Yup, see? Deep pockets, man. You got all those people killed for what? Wow. After all that, after all that. Yeah, man. You got all those people killed, bro. Oh, now you want to take your life? I hope that gun is empty. Good. You don't deserve to die, man. You don't get that luxury. Sorry, homie. You're gonna have to live with your sins. Nice. Dang. Man, what a crazy uh, movie this was. My goodness. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Nice. This was a fun movie to watch. I dug this a lot. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And that's the raid. All right, everybody, we just got done the raid redemption. Oh, man. Okay, so there was this. This one's interesting because, in my opinion, I would say out of all the films we watched, in terms of like a filmmaking perspective, this is probably the weakest. And I, and I mean that in a very... Uh, uh, like, like genuine way. Like, there's n that doesn't mean a bad thing at all. I feel like this movie, for what it was, and for what I believe the director or whoever was a part of it, made it to be, did a fantastic job at making it that thing. I think this movie had one goal, and it nailed that goal to a core. I mean, like, my God, the fighting. 
I, I don't even I don't even understand. Like I'm going to like go and look at behind the scenes for some of these because it, it's just it's a work of art. Like the fighting in itself is a work of art. The camera movement with the fighting is a work of art. Like, man, it was just so organic. It felt like the, the camera had like a feeling of its own. And each time the chaotic fighting took place. I kept track of it. I didn't feel lost at all. I mean, like, it was just incredible. And it's actually inspiring because, I mean, I'm watching Daredevil as well. And I can potentially see how someone can look at the raid and be inspired to do something, hence Daredevil. Because they have very similar, uh, uh, you know, camera movements in terms and in, in fighting. You know, like, it's just incredible. I really love that. So... I would say, like, honestly, my opinions, the story in this case, like, yeah, it, it's it may seem a little bit weaker, but I don't think you would watch this for the story. Rather, um, I mean, it's not bad. It's just weak, you know, in terms of just the overall aspect of everything else. But yeah, I mean, this was an awesome time. Like, this is a great watch. I would watch this on. I would, I would put this on for any of my friends, and I had a really fun time watching this. Thank you guys for recommending this to me, and shout out to all the Patreon people out there for picking some incredible movies to watch. Like I said, the beautiful thing about filmmaking and the beautiful thing about why this channel is the way that it is is because I'm, I'm wanting to learn and educate myself and also educate you guys in all categories of film. That doesn't mean, you know, it has to be critically acclaimed, and it also doesn't mean that it has to be, you know, like completely bizarre, you know, it goes from all categories of cinema. And I think that's what is so beautiful about this channel is because we don't restrict ourselves to just one certain thing. We don't restrict ourselves to just one certain genre of, of cinema. You know, the medium is wide. So why would I restrict myself? Why would I restrict my education and also you guys to that for what? Yeah, you know, I, I think this is incredible. This is awesome. I I really love this film. This was awesome. in terms of just like entertainment. This is 100 percent. So I just want to say thank you again for recommending me this, guys. You guys are awesome. Like I said, I, I, I'm so grateful to have you guys and much love to my Patreon people out there. You guys are killing it. And guys, be good. Stay healthy. Stay hydrated. And like always, we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat